gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter got it Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel that is Deb Chanel's 48th World where we get down with reviews. Y'all know I review the Real Housewives of Atlanta and Miranda Medicine and just about any tabloid review that I want to do out there. But I want to thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to my channel, supporting me. Thank you for all of everyone that uh, definitely has subscribed to my channel, um, my old subscribers as well as my new subscribers and my upcoming subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But let's get on into this must-see video where we have Mark tells Kenya Moore, no ma'am, I'm not coming back to you. Uh, Mark said, you abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. Honey, that's what Mark said. He said, there's no vacancy. Love don't live here anymore. No, 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 no. Yes, honey, that's what he told Kenya Moore. Or at least that's what Celebrity Insider uh, magazine uh, put out two days ago. Yes, November 2nd is when they published it. And it was by Arithi. Uh, Ricky Mathers, she was the journalist, the columnist, the correspondent over there, breaking and banging out this new headline of a story. Yes, it reads, the only way Mark Daly will allegedly take Kenya Moore back if she gives up the Real Housewives of Atlanta permanently. <laughs> Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes, honey, that's what he said. That would be the only way he would have her back into his arms in his house on his uh put her back on her pedestal, her throne as being his wife. Honey, if she says goodbye to the one thing that she has come back to. So we know that ain't nothing but a bunch of bullshit. This is all storylines, ghost tales, fairy tales, um, New York Mickey dreams, however you want to look at it, honey. It just don't make sense. But because Kenya didn't do all that begging, negotiating, them coming to her saying, Okay, you're gonna take this five hundred thousand because that's about what you're gonna get because you was being fouled to us. You went on and called yourself gonna get married, gonna not give us the opportunity to film or none of that. Then you went and got pregnant on us. You lied, said you gonna let us see some of this footage with you and uh, you and him and the uh, IVF treatment going on. You lied about that. Now you wanna say, oh, I won't back in. Well, it's gonna cost you <laughs> allegedly. Don't know if that's how the contract agreement went. But she was trying to get back with Bravo or what terms they had to set in her contract that was ironclad that she had to be permitted to what kind of storyline she was going to give them that was going to be plausible that people would want to come back and see and continue to make their ratings go through the roof so they can pay they well thought out participants they income okay so um yeah i ran up on this article and it's going to get into it why don't we shall we i do it yes you can okay it says it may not be over for the Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore and Mark Daly just yet. After Kenya made a statement that made it clear she wasn't ready to give up, sources are now saying what it would take for Mark to stay in the troubled marriage. Okay, Real Housewives of Atlanta fans remember that the queen of twirls got the boot from the network after she was wed in a secret ceremony when she did return to filming she was afraid that the show would ruin her marriage and viewers didn't get to see a lot of mark okay the 12th installment just wrapped filming and kenya did a lot of promotion surrounding her covenant return along with mark getting a taste of the reality show life or uh, reality tv show life it was just as he expected it wasn't for him he said not for me no 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 i'm gonna abandon you and i'm not gonna be here on a real housewives of atlanta kenya if you want me baby i'll be back in new york city singing your praises but until then, I got to go. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Okay. Then, uh, going back to the article, it says, Sources claim that the restaurant here 
wasn't able to film as much as his wife, but when he did, he allegedly didn't like the person Kenya would turn into in front of the cameras. Okay, because yes, he long time ago, or oh, well, not too, uh, not too not long ago, he called her attention for her. Y'all remember that? I know y'all do. If you don't remember, go in my archives, find the video, and look at it, honey. Take your time, take your time going through the archives. And if you want to look at any more that I've done on the Real Housewives of Atlanta featuring Kenya Moore, please do so as well. Okay, just hit that like button after you finish. Okay, thank you. But going back to the article, it said the insider went on to say, you know, Kenya on the show, she's always in people's business, starting fights and poking at people. Mark has been used to seeing his wife and mommy and wife mode and not in star mode that is part of why the relationship disintegrated in the first place okay mark said uh uh personal time is personal time business is business but don't put me on no outlet that is going to showcase me in the bad light in the good light in my personal life no ma'am no sir no lower okay get it got it good can you either you get on this train or the train is going to leave the station without you okay and this time it's going to be permanently permanently baby but going back to the article, that was just my sidebar. Y'all know how I get down. Okay. Um, it said uh, they went on to say that if they had any chance of getting back together, Kenya had to give up Real Housewives of Atlanta for good. Okay. This comes after the mother of one told people, I am hopeful. They have always wanted to work on our relationship, but I just don't know if that's even a possibility at this point. Honestly, Mark doesn't seem to be there. I feel more comfortable calling it quits if I knew I've tried everything and it still didn't work. And we definitely do didn't do everything we could have done to save our relationship. And the lasting and resounding question, at least the viewers, uh, do you think more would give up being a Bravo celebrity in order to save her union? And if you ask Deb Chanel's 48th world, hell no, she ain't going to give up her money. No, 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 no. King ain't used to asking nobody for nothing. She's used to uh, used to going out there, making things happen, uh, shaking and baking, and she's going to do what she got to do to keep on uh, keeping on, in a sense. Now, of course, she's always wanted her fairy tale wedding, husband, baby, family life. Okay. It just is what it is. You know how I really feel about the whole marriage thing and all that goes along with it. I'm not buying into it. And it just has too many holes in her story now still have holes in it. Okay. So I'm not going to uh, <laughs> damper the moment by going on and telling you what I feel. But I know if Mark done set his precedent of how he feels about this relationship, which he seems like he still had a little for and all that good things. And he wants to be a family man, I'm assuming, on what she's speaking of and what the tabloids are out there saying. So I'll give him that. But I understand what he he's talking about. Uh, yeah, he knew what Kenya was when he met him. He saw what he liked. And again, as human beings, we tend to think we can change people in certain situations to think the way we think. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. And at this point, Mike doesn't want to be a part of the limelight. Okay, a few pictures here, a few pictures there, a few awards, ceremonies. Uh, me being in attendance here and there, okay. But a lifelong uh, stink. A stint she thinks she's going to spend, many can you more, on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and the money that it derives from each episode, each season. It's, it's, it's a, a good thing, but he's like, no, I'd rather generate and make my money otherwise, okay? I don't want to be under the scrutiny of public opinion on any fronts at any time. They can pick and choose and have my downfall. <laughs> He like, I didn't work this damn hard to get where I am in the business restaurant tour world than to have somebody from a mess reality show with all their indie windows and all their uh, shade, as the younger people call it, okay, impending, infringing on my life. No, he said, I uh no, Kenya, I can have you back. It's a very slim window of time we're talking about. But if you don't leave this ratchet show, okay. Uh, I'm leaving you. All right. And that's just how it is. We're going to have to co-parent. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to have the majority of the time. Just give me her at least a couple of months. 
out of the year. It'll be fine. We'll FaceTime. We'll do all these things that Kenya says he's doing or whatnot. I have no idea. I'm just giving what she's giving me, showing the public, okay? And it's a strange, not strange, but a strained marriage. How in her eyes she sees it. She even said on Watch What Happened Live uh, recently that, you know, they've had problems prior to getting married, after the marriage, after the baby, and it's still continuing. So I'm like, can you give it up? Okay, go on and file for divorce. If it did, well, you know, like I said, I don't really think you were married from the get-go. So you can't really undo a marriage or settle a marriage when we this really one one there but you know if you want to play the role i can play right along with you you know go to get your divorce baby you don't want to because i know in my heart of hearts you're not going to give up on real housewives of atlanta and the paycheck that it <coughs> allows you to do the many things that you want to do outside of the real housewives of atlanta okay so therefore go on time to um what do you call it? The divorce papers go on, live life, and you and Brooklyn go conquer the world together without Mark, okay? That's that ship has sailed. It's way in the abyss somewhere, okay? Because he knows you're not going to leave Real, House, Real Housewives of Atlanta. You fought too hard to get back on the show. And you're not going to let, well, you're not going to walk away from it again as allegedly has been uh, printed and talked about this is what you had to do to secure your family life but since you know the whole fabric has torn down it's packed up and he don't ship off i guess you just have to pack up your stuff and ship out you got two ships passing in the night not to be uh brought together in any form shape or fashion anymore because you're not you you love the spotlight you love being on real housewives of atlanta and the opportunities lucrative opportunities it provides you to have now and in the future that's not mark c he already told you that and you know hey it just is what it is just get a tasket fake a little basket i just had to say that it's just on my mind y'all know how to speak my mind sometimes but anyway that's all i have for this video get down in the comments y'all tell me what y'all think i think the ship has sailed closed the door turn off the vacant sign or the open sign, because there ain't no more vacancies in uh, March life for Kenya. Uh, they'll co-parent. He'll be a father um, that's far away. Come and visit whenever he can. You know, it's just a strange situation on there. Because, you know, if you got a baby that small, you should be very much so in her life. You should be telling your lawyers, I want to see her six months out of the year. Kenya can have her six months out of the year. You know, something to that effect. But then Mark is a private man. Don't know what he's doing behind closed doors what kind of uh, actions he's trying to take legally against Kenya about his child, or about the child being in the public so much. If that third, I don't know. Okay, that's only for Kenya to uh, work out behind them closed doors. But it seems like Mark has sailed his ship, his yacht, his, you know, caught his plane, and he's going solo dolo. He's leaving you in the wind. So Kenya, pick yourself up, put on your big girl panties, and just address the issue. He's not coming back. He's already set the precedence. Either you do this or we're not this. Okay? And deal with it. All right? But that's all I have for this video. Uh, thank you for um, always coming and viewing my channel. Seeing what I have out. And seeing what I'm put out, putting out as a video. And continue to like and share my videos. Okay? And remember to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right, guys. See you next video. Bye-bye. I know I ain't perfect